affect you for a minute? Yep, just a minute. <clears throat> On the left is Ian Milburn, a member of the Hamilton Police Department. So, I can talk to you through the door. It's not really a good moment for me to come out right now. So, okay. I know that my neighbor has made some sort of complaint against me. Mm -hmm. um, if you look in the notes of your file, you'll see that there has been false complaints made by Mr. Slavomir mm -hmm. in the past. He is a superintendent. He is someone who is trying to allow renovations to occur. Uh, contrary to the zoning of this house in order to affect my eviction. After responding to a call, Milburn will display why his temper should not be given any sort of pass as a policeman. Hey, listen to me. If you damage his property, I you're, haven't you're, touched listen him. to me. Please don't speak to If you that. damage his property, None of his property has can I finish my sentence? You don't need to speak with me. If, like you, finish, if you damage his property, you are going to be arrested. I and that's not, not going to help you. That's not going to help Excuse you with me, your. Sir, can I finish no, my sentence, can, please? I haven't damaged okay, then I'll just speak me. over you because clearly you're unreasonable and you don't listen. No, actually. If you, you damage his property, sir, you are going to be arrested. So do not damage anything. I never touched his Is that clear? Sir. It's clear. Thank you. Go have a good day. I never touched his item. Enjoy your bullying of a position. <laughs> That's right, your eyes do not deceive you. Ian Milburn lunged at this poor woman in a scary situation where we have seen police misconduct over and over again. She quickly shuts the door. Milburn, showing the character he holds, laughs at his intimidation tactics. The CBC wrote of this crap pulled by Ian Milburn. In the video, two masked uniformed officers are shown at the door of a basement unit of a home asking to speak with the tenant. One officer points at the camera before speaking with the tenant who has the door cracked open. The footage shows the tenant, a woman who is trans and has disabilities, telling the officer her neighbor has made a complaint against her. She also says he is the superintendent and he made past complaints about her. In the video, she says the neighbor is trying to allow renovations that are contrary to the zoning of the home and he is trying to evict her. The superintendent is harassing his tenant and making it construed to be the opposite, she says. Can I finish my sentence? Milburn says. If you damage his property, you are going to be arrested. The woman says, she didn't damage any property. Please don't speak to me like that. In a raised voice, the officer says, I'll just speak over you because clearly you're unreasonable and you don't want to listen. If you damage his property, you are going to be arrested, so do not damage anything. Is that clear? Thank you. In the video, the woman says she understands, and as the officers are leaving, adds, enjoy your bullying of a position. That's when the officer appears to turn and lunge toward the woman as she quickly shuts the door. The video shows him looking at the other officer and laughing as they leave. Then Hamilton police took action. They told the Toronto Sun their investigation had concluded, and they had charged Milburn with assault level one. Hamilton police added Milburn had been placed on administrative duties and will have no contact with the public. His first court appearance is scheduled in July. Court docs viewed by the CBC show Milburn has nine conditions to his probation. They include writing an apology letter to the woman he lunged at, avoiding all contact with her except in an unavoidable emergency, attending anger management classes, and completing 150 hours of community service. Here's the thing, though. Milburn has a history, one you may or may not find surprising at all. The Hamilton Spectator printed in May... Of 2021, Ian Milburn was accused of using excessive force, racial slurs, and threatening to punch a black preacher in the face during a late-night police stop. Milburn denied the charges. The 50-year-old black preacher with the Seventh-day Adventist Church on Hamilton Mountain sued Milburn and four other Hamilton police officers for assault, false arrest, and violating the Charter of Rights and Freedoms over an altercation that took place in February 2012. As for the woman who Milburn lunged at, she said, I don't think he is safe to interact with the public. I don't think this is a matter of retraining, she said. I've been traumatized. She also said she feels vindicated. The officer pled guilty. But I certainly don't have added faith in the justice system because of this particular circumstance. The only reason he was held accountable is because I advocated for myself. She added, she'll be framing Milburn's apology letter.